and welcome back to the channel everyone so today i am going to give the solution of uh, one question that previously i have shared with you that uh, adverb question uh, i am uh, i have solved the third one i am not able to solve the one and two just i am trying to solve this three the third one so maybe it will be helpful for you and if you get the answers of two then you may share uh, the answer of that and I am not a very uh, good coder so I am just trying to solve it if you just like uh, this video then you can share it with your friends so let's get started and if you are new on this channel then you can subscribe it so the question is like that uh, that uh, uh, first I am uh, reading that the question uh, the third one is third one is the a unique character is a uh, one that appears only once in a string given a string consisting of a lowercase english letter only return the index of the first occurrence of a unique character in the string using one best in indexing if the string does not contain any unique character return minus one the question uh, the question is saying that that uh, let us suppose we have a string and uh, in, uh, in this example you can see, you can see that and uh, there is a, a word that is a static still uh, so in this in this uh, word uh, we can see that a and c is the a and c is the unique character in in this word okay and if you just see the uh, uh, and it is at index 3 how uh, because uh, uh, we have to use one best indexing uh, if you know uh, indexing is started with uh, 0 and here we have to start the indexing from 1 so we uh, I, I will show you uh, the uh, solution part of it so we continue uh, with me so here you can see that uh, it is in the position of uh, if we uh, start from 0 1 and 2 here the a is on the 2 position but if we uh, start from 1 base in indexing then a will come at the third position okay so now let's go to the solution of it so I have uh, invested uh, my uh, one or two hour uh, to get the solution of it so maybe this will be okay uh, because here there is no test cases that I have to follow so whatever uh, maybe here, here is some error uh, you can check with the other words if this is correct in every situation then the then our code is perfect okay so let's go so first I have created a class here you can see that and then when just I have written the main method okay and us uh, we take a string uh, I have given a variable name a and just take this string and if the question is asked then there may be a functional question uh, where the function will give you the string name okay so here so first uh, first dekho uh, uh, so uh, 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 so we have to that we have to go for one by one at every character and check whether it is unique or not. So first what we have to do here, uh, we, we are taking two loops. First one yeah, that is I am taking uh, that will count from here uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and goes like that. And, and here you can see that I have taken a a second second loop here yeah, you can say this is I have taken two loops this is the this one and this one so ye first wala kya karega first wala kya kar raha hai ki ye jo hai ek character uthaya ga yaan se maan ke chalo yaan se as uthaya this one take one character because at i equals to 0 and here what what I take a dot length 0 a dot length 0 will give what the total number of character okay the length of the character length of the word that will give okay so i should be less than 
uh, a dot length and if we count uh, as you know if you count say from here to then what will be the length here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 here the length is 11 so it will go from 0 to 11 and then i plus plus okay so first first we take s and then I have written the second loop and second loop what will second loop do second loop also take the s okay and it will what uh, and and here I have written a if condition I have given the if condition where it will check that character at i means if zero index on a zero index what is the character what is the character at zero index that is s s is the character and if you know here what is here j equals to zero so so yaha yaha bhi kya hoga yaha pe bhi zero hoga so dono character kya hoga same hoga means this condition is true if condition is true and if condition is true then here um, I have written a count plus plus. I have initialized a count. Okay. And then I have written that count plus plus. Means, ek bar, matlab ki deko, s jo hai, wo to tumhara ek bar hoga hi hoga. Kyunki, kyunki deko, yaha pe do loop hai, aur dono loop hai, same indexing hai. To s to hoga hai, matlab count ka value, wo to ek hoga hi. एक बार ठीक है एक बार तो होगा ही और अगर मान के चलो इसका दो बार आ गया देखो अगर s जो है यहां पे भी आ, s आ गया तो क्या है s जो है आपको दो बार आ रहा है तो ये ये जो एक बार s मैंने इस इस लूप से निकाला है s ये फर्स्ट इंडेक्स है वो यहां पे है मेरा ठीक है यहां पे रखा हुआ है ठीक है और ये जो j वाला इंडेक्सिंग जो है वो तो क्या हो रहा है ये वाला लूप तो पहले खत्म होगा तब तो फिर इसमें जाओगे तो ये जो लूप जब तक चल रहा है तो ये क्या करेगा ये j जो है ये जाएगा यहां तक यहां एंड तक जाएगा तो यहां पे देखो एक एस यहां पे है दो है तीन है मतलब यहां पे काउंट क्या हो जाएगा एक बार तो ये हो ही गया क्योंकि एस तो एस पे एक बार गया तो वन एक बढ़ा ठीक है फिर एस जो है वो दो से मिल दो दोबारा एस से मिला तो वो काउंट क्या हो गया टू हो गया फिर एस जो है एक और एस से मिला तो वो क्या हो गया काउंट को थ्री कर गया ठीक है तो ये चीज आप समझ गए कि मैं क्यों ये काउंट लगाया हूं क्यों दो बार फोर व्हाई आई हैव यूज्ड फोर टू टाइम्स ओके व्हाई आई हैव यूज्ड काउंट हियर सो अब तुमको यहां पे देखना है कि काउंट ये काउंट समझ अच्छा ये काउंट मैं बाद में बताऊंगा यस आई हैव रिटन हियर दैट व्हाई आई यूज दिस काउंट हियर आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू लेटर बस बट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल सी दैट आई हैव यूज्ड दिस इफ in this where in this loop remember it in this loop i have used if here i have taken if condition for for what for getting the unique character for and how you can get the unique character as you know if the count value is 2. If the count value is 2, अगर ये count value 2 हो जाएगा, तो मतलब कि वो जो character है, वो repeat हुआ है, ठीक है? और अगर ये 1 होता है, अगर ये count value 1 रहता है, तो मतलब कि क्या? कि वो एक unique character है, अगर 2 रहता है, तो क्या? मतलब कि ये दो बार character आ चुका है, ठीक है? ये तो आप समझ गए हो, क्योंकि यहाँ पे मैंने condition दिया हुआ है, तो ये count का value two कर देगा ठीक है मतलब कि दो दो character हैं की तरह के so यहाँ पे मैंने क्यों लिया why I have taken if condition here here I have taken the if condition because I want to get the index of that particular at that particular index value so if the count equal to equal to one so if I get the initial one, initial one unique character here, then it will, then it will, what will given here system dot it will print the index i, but 
as in the question as written that i we have to one we have to take one based indexing okay it will not start from zero so just i simply add one here okay getting my point that if you if um, uh, let's suppose you get here uh, uh, s s at the zero indexing but as in this is a one based so i have added one so it will start from one two three four okay just like that and then just i have given the break means when i get the first character first unique character then it will go out from this loop it will come out from this for loop ye matlab loop se bahar aa jayega i think you are getting my point if you are not understanding this video then you can comment down below i will explain it in completely hindi so oh, then you can understand in a very uh, good manner actually i am also a not a good speaker uh, i am not a good uh, speaker in, in english so i can explain you in hindi also if you just comment comment down and i will uh, bring uh, one another video for you also okay so here first part is completed here you understand why you why we use this count here because we want the index of that unique unique character okay so i have used the count in this for loop okay and later on i have taken this if outside of outside of for loop why why i have taken this if uh, if outside of the for loop because as you know in this question here is written if the string does not contain any unique character then it will return minus 1 matlab uh, means uh, means ki agar tumhare paas agar tumhare paas yahan pe matlab ki koi bhi unique character nahi hota hai theek hai matlab sab jitne bhi character the wo agar double do do bar aa ja rahe hain theek hai मैं आपको भी एक सॉल्यूशन में दिखाऊंगा कि वो कैसे कैसे होता है मैं अलग अलग यहाँ पे स्ट्रिंग लूंगा आई विल टेक स्ट्रिंग ऑफ डिफरेंट ऑफ डिफरेंट कैरेक्टर्स देन यू विल गेट टू नो दैट हाउ इट हुआ ओके सो हियर दैट यू कैन यू कैन सी दैट इफ आई हैव आई हैव टेकन इफ काउंट इक्वल ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू टू वाई डोंट आई हैव रिटर्न द क्वेश्चन वाई नॉट ग्रेटर देन टू वाई वी नॉट टेक इक्वल टू इक्वल टू टू okay i will so i will explain you also why i will take the greater than 2 but first of all i have to complete this uh, complete this code explanation uh, later on then i will tell you why i have taken this greater than so as you know now here is the question that if we, we know if you not found any unique character in this uh, string then it will it will return minus 1 so i have written this this code okay and it is it's it outside of this for loop okay outside of this loop getting my point if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment if you are getting any doubt or you, if i am doing anything wrong then you can comment down and i will try to improve this code okay so now let's go uh, just run this code and then i will show you okay First of all, I have to clear it. And new terminal, okay. And then run it. Okay, no problem. Here you can see that I am getting three. Okay, just change the string here. I am taking the second example of. and just hack the again okay now see the output here you can oh again three why three because here c is the unique character let's suppose i am taking low low why i am taking low low because i am getting that i a this condition is true or not it means if we in, in this low low uh, there is no 
unique character so i am getting minus one or not so here run again here you can see that i am getting minus one so that uh, means uh, my code is correct okay let's and i am giving you a uh, one more thing that what happened if we not write greater than and if we just change double equal to okay and if i write here triple s then what will happen here just see as you can see that i am not getting any value why why because the count is greater than two and here what we have right we have written the count equal to if the count equal to equal to two then i will then i can only print system dot out print minus one okay so that's why that's why i have taken the greater than two okay you understand my point i think you getting my point if and you are not getting my point then please do comment and ask me the question okay and do support and do support and uh, do subscribe to this channel so i can bring uh more solutions for you and if you have any doubt you can ask in the comment i will ask from my other fellow mates so just uh -huh, yeah so i think this cost uh, this is the uh, good so i think this will work this code will work also uh, i it will pass all the test cases uh, if you have any doubt you can ask uh, let me check uh, um, anything that i missed here you can understand why i am giving break here because uh, when i when you got your first unique number you just come out with the loop if if you not give the break let's see what happen if you not give the break statement okay let's put it here string okay hack the game fine just run it let's see three four five eight ten minus one is coming okay so that's why you need this break statement okay understood i think you you understood my solution and if you have any problem you can ask now uh, that's all for today uh, if you have any question ask me and i hope you understand my point so i will come up with the next another video just hit the subscribe button if you are new on this channel Okay fine bye